I'm here today with Katrina Whiteson, an associate professor from the Department of Molecular Biology and Biochemistry, and also the associate director of the UCI Microbiome Initiative. Uh, Katrina, I wanted to chat with you today about your unique way of uh, fighting the COVID-19 pandemic. So you're working to detect COVID-19, the COVID-19 virus in wastewater. How can a virus be detected in uh, sewage? Well, first of all, when somebody is infected with COVID-19, um, the virus is actually shed in their stool. So that means that as um, sewage samples are coming into the wastewater treatment plant, there's virus in there. I mean, this is not just true for the COVID-19 virus, it's actually true for many other pathogens. Um, but when the COVID-19 pandemic hit, many of us realized what an amazing tool this could be because we can actually pick out the nucleic acids, the genomes of the viruses are in the sewage. We're not sure that the virus is infectious from sewage, but there are traces of the genes that are important for the virus um, that we can detect in the sewage. So we can take the samples and we can process them very similarly to the types of clinical tests that many of us have been taking. We can look for the genes that um, encode the virus in the sewage samples as well. So I gotta ask you, what sparked your interest in tracking viruses in sewage? Well, I, um, I have to say I have a longstanding interest in the microbes that inhabit our guts. And in fact, my lab was already getting sewage samples regularly. Um, as my kids will tell you, I'm actually a really big fan. And one of my biggest points of pride in Orange County is our sanitation district. We have a really wonderful um, way of recycling the water. And we've been getting sewage samples for years. So every two weeks, one of my graduate students goes to the Orange County Sanitation, Sanitation District plant and gets a sewage sample. And for many years, what we were actually trying to do with those sewage samples is hunt for viruses that infect bacteria. So we were looking for alternatives to antibiotics. We're, we're hunting for phages that will kill infectious bacteria really in a targeted way. To, to have an alternative to antibiotics for all those bacteria that are antibiotic resistant pathogens. So we have a big store. Our cold room has a library of sewage samples from every two weeks for the last couple of years. And so as the pandemic hit, we started realizing, oh my gosh, we have a record of when the virus may have hit Orange County. So this is something that universities, for example, could do in dormitory settings to see if there's you know, individuals who are infected with the virus. Exactly. It's so powerful because it's like an aggregate sample. So rather than having to test all 300 people living in a dorm, if you could get a sewage sample from that dorm and you found the virus, you could quickly narrow down, wow, there might be somebody, even an asymptomatic individual could be shedding the virus. And that would give you the heads up that you should really focus your testing in that area where you've already gotten a bit of a positive signal. So this could be a much more cost effective way of tracking the virus. Exactly. It's especially important in underrepresented communities and, for example, in nursing homes where it might be really difficult to get enough samples from everybody quickly to be able to tell where the virus is happening. Um, but yes, with a sewage sample, it's this aggregate measure where not only can we get a yes or no answer about whether the virus is present, we can even sequence the virus and look for its diversity and get a sense for how many different instances of infection are there. Uh, we can track where the virus is coming from. Um, so there's really a lot of knowledge we can gain from an aggregate sample, like a sewage sample.